Hello, and welcome. In this video tutorial, we'll be showing you how to install Windows 7 onto an Acer Aspire 1 netbook. This particular netbook has 1 gig of RAM and a 120 gig hard drive. I will be taking you through the entire process from acquiring Windows 7, getting a key, setting up the USB stick for installation, installing the operating system into the netbook, and final configuration and drivers. This will be a several part series due to the fact that YouTube only allows 10 minute videos. I hope you enjoy. For this project you will need a few things. You will need a USB stick, 4 gig or larger, a 3 gig stick will work, but I've never actually seen one. This is a uh, SanDisk U3 uh, USB stick prepared for the process. Please see the other tutorial. A backup camera, just in case this one starts to fritz out. A battery charger for the cameras. And most importantly, a netbook, preferably the Acer Aspire 1. And the power cord for the netbook. The installation of Windows 7 is pretty intensive and you don't want to accidentally run out of battery power in the middle of it because you walked away. First we've got to get Windows 7. For that, we type in Windows 7 Download and we go to the Windows 7 Release Candidate Customer Preview Program at Microsoft. Okay, once we get to the page, we just scroll down to the bottom a bit until we get to the download 32-bit version and select our language, in this case English, and click Go. At this point, it's going to ask you for your email address and password. You can use your MSN login information, uh, Windows Live login, or just sign up new with the system. It's free and uh, they don't really bug you too much with mail. Your MSN Live password or Windows, uh, your MSN password or Windows Live password should work here as well. Right here is where you get your Windows key. Uh, this is for the um, release candidate. It's good to uh, sometime next year. And uh, you should either print out or plop this down into a notepad so you'll have it handy. Um, various facts, etc., blah, 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 from Microsoft. And now we click the download button. It should bring up another window after this that uh, lets you download the um, downloader itself, which is a little bit like a BitTorrent client. And the download takes an average of about three hours on your average DSL connection. If you happen to live in one of those places with one of those really great um, cable connections, you can get it in about a half hour.